Okay, are we live? Might be, I hope so. <clears throat> um, let's see, get the chat going. And then uh, start painting. So there's a bit of a different stream today. I'm not taking requests so much. I mean, unless people have good suggestions, but I think for the most part, I'm gonna be, what I'm gonna do, I don't know if you can see the screen. I've got this pin -up, classic pin-up image, and I'm gonna turn it into like a horror picture with Freddy Krueger. <laughs> but keep, keep the kind of weirdly sexy body, but with Freddy Krueger's head on the top, so. It'll be a bit of a horrific image, so might be funny. I don't know. So that's what I'm going to paint anyway. I don't know why. I don't know why I decided to paint this, but I did. And now I've got to live with my decision. So first things first, what I'm going to do is just put that like a bit of a background on there, which I'm going to put in. It's a bit of a... I think it's like a very light blue background, I think. Which I'm gonna do first. I've got a sponge somewhere. Apologies if I'm kicking the camera here. Don't mean to do it. Yeah, okay. Good. 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 How do I get get back? Right, let's mix up some colours here. And try and recreate this image, but and probably make it a bit more gloomy because you know it's a horror picture. For example, the sky will be a bit more grey, maybe a bit blue, but when we add the black, it's going to be a bit more gloomy than usual. You see. Nice. Nice easy color here. Kind of similar to the sky to what I put on the last one. Tape flip, how is it going? First one in today. I think that should be a bit darker to be honest. Put a bit more black in there. Maybe I should just do some like something like this. There we go, a little bit of uh, grey skies, and uh, yeah, I don't know, I'll, I'm going to try and recreate this image quite accurately, but just sort of change bits and pieces. So the grass is probably going to be... You watched Avengers Endgame today, was it good? I've never seen any of the Avengers movies. I've never seen a single one.
And I don't care to, neither. Mix these two colors together. I'm going to try and get. Oh, I'm, I'm really bad at mixing up green colors, you know. I'm going to try and this, but it's going to be a slightly different, slightly different green. unworldly this green yep never watched Avengers it's not really my thing but I, I kind of I don't know the last few superhero movies I watched I was kind of dragged along to, and then I ended up enjoying them. Didn't think I would. Didn't think they were my kind of thing. Uh, but I saw that Spider-Man animation thing, that Into the Multiverse, whatever it was called. Really loved that. And um, what else did I see that I liked? I saw, you know, like um, Deadpool and all them. Um, bit something a bit different. So I don't know, maybe I would like the Avengers movies, but at this point I feel like I would have to watch them all from the beginning. Is that the one where Ant-Man flies up Thanos' ass and kills him? Savage Henry, good morning. Good morning to you. I'm painting a classic pin-up image, but with Freddy Krueger in the place of the pin-up girl. I don't know why, it just, an image came to my mind. I thought that would be horrible, let's paint that. So, that's what we're trying this morning. If you want to uh, watch, that's fine by me. Hmm, the ground looks terrifying, doesn't it? Very spooks. It's not spooky, that ground. Is it spooky? That ground? Oh, I've got a little fan brush somewhere. Which would be good for this. I just don't know what I've done with it. It's one of the mystery brushes that I keep misplacing. Every time I every time I don't want it, I find the brush. And every time I do want it, it vanishes from sight. It's one of them brushes that I'm not quite sure actually exists. It could be just an imagination brush. Where is it? Where's this fan brush? Come on, I know it exists. I know I didn't dream it. Who knows? Who knows? Ah! Finale to twenty four movies. I don't know. So how many movies they made? 24? I don't believe that. I think you're lying to me. I think that's a goddamn lie. 
I don't know really. That seems like a crazy amount. There's no way I'm watching that many superhero movies. Freddy Krueger, yeah, apparently so. It's going to be Freddy Krueger of some description. I'm just messing with the grass. I don't know if you can see the image that I'm copying off, but it's like a, a pin-up girl picture. It sounds weird, but I'm, I'm taking a classic pin-up image and I'm going to twist it into a Terrifying image of Freddy Krueger will both give you a boner and a nightmare at the same time. Which is always good. Grass is just, oh, I, don't, I don't know what it is with me and grass. Same with hands. I, I don't like painting grass, I don't like painting hands. Can't get either of the things right. I remember the remake of Elm Street they did. Mm. I don't think I've seen it. I think I saw the trailer for it or the or the posters or something. It looked quite kind of cool. I like the one where it was um, as if they were making the movie, but Freddy was real or something. Remember that one? That was a weird one. I can't remember exactly what it was called. Urban Turban, hello. How are you? So quite a lot of these remake films that I just haven't got around to watching yet. I don't think I ever got around to seeing that um, the remake of the uh, Leatherface movie. You know, the Texas Chainsaw movie. Quite a lot of them that I never got around to seeing. I actually don't mind remakes. I know a lot of people are a bit like, a bit purist about it. You know, they don't like the remakes because they don't think the originals should be messed with. But I don't really. Yeah, am I taking requests? No, sorry, not today. I'm just doing my own thing. Just doing my own thing, I've got my own plan here. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. So, it's gonna be tricky getting the figure right on this. But I'll, uh, hmm, I'm just trying to think what best way to go about it is. Two thousand and three remake. Yeah, I think that's the one I haven't seen. I don't know. I can't really remember, you know. Lion King remake. Is that the live action one? I haven't uh yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen any of these Disney remakes either, the live action ones. <clears throat> I don't really get I see that's one thing I don't get, is why they're remaking the Lion King, because that's I don't know. I, I I think that's timeless, and I don't. I I I. I think it's like one of them things where the animation. It's all about the animation, isn't it? You watch clips of that movie. It's the. It's all about the amazing animation. I 
I liked when they re I liked when they made those remakes of the uh, the Dawn of the Dead movies. They're pretty good. If you've seen any of them. Real life CGI. Well, I don't know. It might be good, but to be honest, I saw the I saw the clip of the um, the Aladdin remake with uh, Will Smith, and it looks it looks so awful that I just thought, no, they can't do these good. You know, I think they could do it good. Like I could, they could do do a good job, but it just looks like they've done a. A bad job of these remakes. I don't know. It, it, that's just off the Aladdin remake. It could be if the Lion King one is good, I'll give it its dues. But honestly, I just think they're gonna they're gonna mess it up if if the Aladdin thing's anything to go by. This head one, like three heads. A bit, I reckon. Scar's voice. I haven't heard it. Mm. I'll have to have a look at the trailer for it or something if there is one. I don't know. Oh, this. I think I'm getting this figure right at all. It's going to be pretty much the same body as this. See, that? how's that? Hmm. Dee 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 This is gonna be Freddy's hand here. I don't know, I don't understand why I'm not why am I painting it so badly here? Where's the why have I done the roof there? Hmm, I don't really understand the perspective that much. If I can get this. Oops. And then right here, it cuts off. And then there's like the roof. Oh, he's off to the Gurdwara for his free dinner. All right, Bill, thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you later. I don't know what's going on here. This, this figure's all a bit wrong. But I suppose it doesn't matter because it's going to be transformed into Freddy Krueger eventually, so... Who really cares? I 
what? Oh, uh, horror remakes. Well, what else have I seen that I quite enjoyed? Chucky remake, yeah, that's coming out. I've seen the pictures for that. Um, yeah, I don't really generally like remakes as much as just having like a sequel to a movie. I like horror movies. I like them when they keep making the sequels and they get more and more silly. Right, okay, this, I'm going to have to recheck. I'm going to have to redo this. Let's think about this whole thing because I don't know what I'm doing here. Right, we need to do the kennel. Kennel is there. Doggo is here. Yep. Roof. Let's put the thing in first. Maybe that'd be easier. Heard anything from Steve Punk lately? No, I have not. I uh, I don't know. He wanted. He rang me wanting to meet up, and uh, I was up for it. And then I just saw all the drama that was going on in his life, and I just thought, oh, I don't really want to. I don't really want to. I don't really want to get involved in any of that shit. To be honest, I could do without that. You know, he's a nice guy, but I really didn't want to. I've got enough shit in my own life, really. Don't really, he doesn't seem to be able to solve his own his problems very well, you know what I mean? Sounds a bit mean, but at the same time he doesn't seem to be able to take advice from people. So, yeah, I decided not to meet up with him. <laughs> Right, okay, let's redo this body because that's the reality, yeah, it is. Uh, I don't know, just don't, I don't need it, you know. It was only a meet up for a drink, but I just felt like some sometimes you just feel like oh that's I just wanna stay out of that situation to be honest with you. It looks way too fucking dramatic for me. Uh, he could be watching this right now, and if he is then I don't mean any ill will towards him. He's a perfectly nice guy, but He doesn't seem particularly able to. I don't know. I don't know if he just doesn't want to solve the issues in his life, or whether he's just unable to see where his problems arise from. But I don't. I don't need to get involved in any of that shit. You know, not for me. Sorry. Mm -mm -mm. And if, if that's true, what you said, I could have, I could have called that. You know, I could, I saw something like that coming like years ago, like ages ago. It was just, you know, it's obvious that. Certain people are no good, <laughs> you know. Got that impression. Well, I get the impression that some people are just self-destructive. You know, they they like. Well, they don't like the uh, the things that happen to them, but they they put themselves in situations where these things will happen, and then you know it creates a lot of drama for them. 
bit of excitement in their lives. The way I see it. No. Hmm, I don't know. I don't want to be too harsh, but at the same time, I don't want nothing to do with it, to be honest. Oh, oh. I don't know. I, don't, I haven't watched these videos in ages, to be honest with you. I don't know what was going on. It was getting too depressing. Alright. <sighs> I don't know what's going on here. I can't even I can't even tell which lines are which. I can't even tell. Some of these lines are are proper, some of them are not. <laughs> yeah, Kogan Kogan keeps me updated actually on his videos. He like the same reason he watches them, doesn't comment, but then when I meet up with him he's like, Oh, you know, he tells me like all about the dramas that have been going on in those in those vids and I'm like, oh yeah. Like a bit of a car crash, isn't it? But I don't really want I don't really want to watch it for that because it's you know. Yeah, I don't want to be mean about the guy. He's just uh, he's self-destructive, and I think some of, some of the things that he kind of invites willingly, if, even if he doesn't think that himself. I think there is a certain willingness to the self-destruction, and it makes for an interesting viewing. But at the same time, I think he's quite a nice guy deep down. I don't really want to watch that and I don't want to get involved in it until he's sorted himself out. <laughs> Which I don't know if he ever would, but, you know. Not to me to uh, sort his life out, so. Just, I'm just staying away. Yep, that's it. He should get a job, he should... Uh... I mean, I'm saying that while well, I haven't really got a job, but at least I'm trying to do something. <laughs> but I just mean, like, he doesn't... He, uh, I don't know, I don't, wanna, I, don't wanna, I don't wanna talk bad about him, he's, you know, he's not here to defend himself, and uh, I just I just haven't really been keeping up to date with it. that's what I meant to say, which, you know, not something that I really wanted to get involved with too many dramas and I think some, sometimes it's just best to let people talk their own lives out uh, good chapter there's a good chapter in um, 12 rules for life about that it's like you know don't don't surround yourself with people who potentially would, you know, cause cause yourself damage by hanging around with them, or you know, bring a ne negative influence. And people who don't want to help themselves don't feel like you have to help them. You know, sometimes the best thing you can do for people is just leave them to it. <laughs> Poor guy.
I hope he gets himself sorted out though, honestly, he's he's a nice guy. It's just you know, he just I don't I don't want any of that. <laughs> I don't need any of that in my life. I don't know I don't know if that sounds callous or not. I don't know what you think, but Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta leave people to fix their own issues. Put them off. Getting the figure in here. It's, um, it's not looking very Freddy Kruegery yet, but kind of want to get the um, the outline. Had any bids on the Pennywise painting yet? No, I have not. Not yet, but I've got two watches. And I imagine, well, my experience of eBay is usually people bid at the last minute. They don't like to play their hands too soon. So I'm hoping one of those two watches bids on it. But um, if not, then I just will do something else with it. I can get in my bedroom or something. Terrified of wife. Hello. I don't even know how to say that name. But uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool username. It looks like you would say it. Oh, mom. But I'm guessing that's not how you pronounce that word. Do, 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 do. Right, I need some <sighs> some colours for this kennel. Let's see. Maybe a page has some clues. No. But nice dog or cat. The problem is with that um, eBay listing, the um, the picture I took looked really bad. I don't know why. I can't get it. I can't get the picture looking like the actual artwork. It looks really bright, and uh, I don't know, not not how it does in real life. The colours on the actual painting are much more sort of subtle, and it looks a lot better in real life. I, I think the picture I took is not too good, so I might try and retake the picture, but. I'm not very good at photographing my own work, that's why I, when I've done the prints in the past I've always got my friend to come and do them because she's a professional. So uh, yeah, I, I'm not good at representing my own paintings. Something to do with, maybe it's something to do with the white balance or something, I'm not too sure. But yeah, I'm not too good at photographing my own work. The problem. Well, I think I might do more like this, just little small paintings, selling them. People have been asking me to do like some horror related things recently, so I do love horror movies. Oh, we were talking about horror remakes, weren't we? And then we got fucking distracted talking about Steve Punk for some reason. So, uh, 
trying to think of some other horror movie remakes. Oh, they, I haven't seen it yet. I wanted to watch it the other day. They remade Suspiria, and I watched the uh, Red Letter Media review. Suspiria is one of my favourite movies, like my favourite horror movies. And I know they remade it recently, and it's meant to be really good. It's got um, the music. Tom York did the music for it and stuff. And uh, it, you know, I'm quite interested in watching it, but it wasn't on any like Netflix or Amazon or anything, so I haven't got to watch it yet, which is a shame. I don't know if anyone else has seen it, whether they can give me their opinion. You got to know me accidentally when you were searching about Prozac. You've taken Prozac for four months. Got a lot of energy and hope from me. Ah. Got all my videos in the Prozac diary. Well, I hope it's working out for you. I'm not. I'm on a different tablet now called Citalopram, which uh, I don't know if it's as effective as the Prozac, but the Prozac was making me feel a bit funny towards the end. It really worked. Really. Amazingly, but yeah, I hope it's working out for you. I was actually going to do a follow up, like, um, what tell you what mo the, the most common question people ask me about the the side effects of the tablets is about like how it affects your like sex drive and stuff. Like, everyone asks me about that, and uh, I might make a video about it. Hereditary, I haven't seen that. I think that's something that's on my list to watch if I ever get the chance. Suspiria, it, the original is about this girl who goes to this um, ballet school, and it's just weird. It's just it's just this weird psychedelic, weird movie, like hypnotic and strange, and uh, All this like creepy stuff starts happening. Some of the girls are getting murdered, and uh, it's just it's just so weird and creepy. It's like filmed in like this. Um, it's like filmed in this technical technical film, so all the colours are really crazy and vivid. And I think he had to like. I think technical was like out of print or out of production by the time they made the movie, so he had to like get all this old stock of technical film. And he filmed all the lighting as like all this, all different colours, like reds and blues just flashing everywhere. So the movie just looks insane. But it's so creepy, honestly. One of those movies I watched when I was absolutely stoned and it just creeped me out. And apparently the, the remake, and it's got this soundtrack as well by this band called Goblin. It's a really, it's a really insane soundtrack. It's so like over the top, and um, apparently the remake is completely different. It's like really subdued, all the colours and everything. And um, Tom York's done the soundtrack, and it's really like mellow and <laughs> you know, sort of like a background sound. But it's like it's like the complete opposite of the original, but also it's meant to be good. So uh, I'm I'm interested to watch the remake, but the, I love the original movie. It's absolutely incredible. It's an absolute masterpiece, honestly. Watch it if you get the chance. Watch the original, definitely. I don't know about the remake. I haven't seen it, so I can't recommend it. Hereditary. Is that the one where... Um, I don't know it, but... Is the one where they go and stay with their grandparents? Is it that one? Or is that, am I thinking of a completely different movie? I'm not really sure. Right, I'm going to paint in most of this just how it looks, but then I'm going to go off off piste because, like, the colours of the the colours of the uh, the pinup are white, but I'm going to go Freddy Krueger colours eventually. No, I'm thinking of a different movie then. Yeah. I think of a different movie where I know the twist, so I'm probably not going to bother watching it.
Yeah, I think Hereditary is the other one which I saw was sounded good, but I didn't watch too many. Thing is, right, if there's a film I don't want to watch, I'll watch a load of reviews of it because there's review channels that I enjoy. But I always end up what like I like the people who make the reviews, like Red Letter Media and George Rockle Smith, Smith, whatever his name is. But I don't want I don't want movies that I actually want to see spoiled, so I end up watching loads of reviews for movies that I've got no interest in. I've seen about three mo three reviews for that Captain Marvel movie. I've got absolutely no interest in watching that, but I've watched reviews of it because it's a movie that I don't care if it's spoiled. So every movie that I actually want to see, I haven't watched any reviews for. Something you need to watch. Okay. I try and look out for it if it's on uh, if it's on Netflix or anything. I'll catch it, but if not, then I don't know how I'll see it. I wanted to watch this. There was this movie I wanted to watch the other day called um, The Witch, which I saw a while ago, but I wanted to watch it again. It was one of the movies where I started watching it and I wasn't too interested. And then about halfway through, I realised the movie was amazing. I started paying attention, but by that point, it was like half over. So I wanted to watch it again, so I could proper concentrate from the beginning of the movie. And uh, it, it's been removed from Netflix, so I'll, I don't know what to do. How am I going to watch that now? The visit, yeah. That's um, I watched the review for that. It didn't look too great, to be honest. I know the twist now, so I can quite I quite enjoyed the twist of the movie. Like the I, I like the idea of it when it got explained to me. But yeah, now I know the twist. There's no point watching it. I quite liked um, the M Night Shyamalan one, the recent one he did. You know, it was like a follow on to. Uh, those two movies he made, Unbreakable and the other one, I can't even fucking remember. I quite like that. It got bad reviews, but I enjoyed it. There's always got to be a twist, doesn't there? Split. Yeah, what was the last one he made? Where they were all in like a, a hospital together. I quite enjoyed that. We went to see it, the pictures. Glass was it called? It was it Mr. Glass? Anyway, I enjoyed it. Long short story short, it was good. Got bad reviews, but I enjoyed it. So there. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Right, what Freddy Krueger's outfit look like? I don't know, your trousers are black, aren't they? Torrent it, that's very bad. See these noises going on outside today. I don't know what that's all about. My neighbours moved out the other week. Uh, the house next door is empty, but I keep see, seeing people in there, so I don't know whether it's people being shown around to buy the house, but I hope it's some uh, decent neighbours. I'm very bad at interacting with my neighbours. I'm just a very awkward person in real life, you know. Very socially dysfunctional, so 
We've had a we had a new neighbour move in next door on the other side. It was dead nice, but I'm just I'm very awkward. I'm a very awkward person and I'm not very good at interacting with people, so I haven't spoken to her much, to be honest. I know some people like get to know their neighbours and stuff. I've never done that because I'm I don't like human interaction, to be honest with you. Please don't talk to me, anyone. Nothing personal, I just... The others... Am I missing out on some chat here, or is it just... What's spooky? The, uh, the movie we were talking about, which I've already instantly forgotten. Hereditary. Tim Rice. You mean Tim Curry, man? Stop getting clowns wrong! <laughs> Curry and rice. Easy mistake. Do you remember that horror movie? Which movie? The, the, uh, the others. I feel like I'm missing out on a bit of a chat here. I don't know. If you ever see me in public, you just give me a modest nod. Thank you, Savage Henry. I appreciate that. But then I think, how, why is that person nodding at me? He's weird. You know what, I have no problem talking to animals. My, my next door neighbor's got a dog, and I was like, there's no one in the garden, but the dog was like barking at me, so I stand at, stood at the fence going, hello, hello, you're a dog, and all that, you know, chatting to the dog. It was getting more and more annoyed, just barking really loud, and then the neighbor came to the door. I was like, oh, and disappeared. Oh no, a human, I'm off. Probably came to see why the dog was barking. It was me harassing it. And my, my last neighbour was a young girl, you know, probably like a bit younger than me. And uh, one time, and this, I swear this is what happened, right? I don't, I'm not saying this to like cover my back or something. One time there was a cat in her garden. She didn't have a cat, so I don't know whose cat it was. But I was stood, I was stood in my garden, like doing some gardening. I was going, psh, 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 psh. Like making funny noises at the cat, and it was staring at me. And then I know, and then I looked over and noticed that um, my neighbour was like sunbathing in, <laughs> in the garden. Like she, I couldn't see her. She was like behind a tree. I thought, oh shit! I bet she thinks like I was making no, no, those noises at her. Like I don't know, like cat calling her or something. I don't know why. I can't resist animals. If I see an animal, I've got to always like try and talk to it or something. Oh, it's spooky. No, it's not like it's not like I'm seeing like creepy things through the window. I'm just like I know that I know they've moved out, and then I see like a car pull up, and then maybe there's like people milling around in there. The windows are open. And there's, like I can hear things being moved around. I don't know. They might be just redecorating to get it ready for sale, or there might be people coming to look around. It's not anything as exciting as a spooky ghost. I hope not, anyway. 
Although I do wake up sometimes and like usually I can hear like people stomping around next door and I think, oh yes, it's, it sounds like it's coming from inside my house. But usually I can just think, oh, it's it's just next door. It's fine. But I recently I've been waking up and hearing people stomping around. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking, oh my God, the house next door is empty. Who's that walking around? Uh, the delay's annoying. Okay, sorry, tape flip. I did see that message like about a minute ago. I just didn't respond to it. I'm just uh, like basically, I, I get chatting and I don't look at the chat, so there might be a delay as well. But at the same time, I'm uh, just sort of not paying attention to it as well. Not paying attention to the chat. Right, I've done this a bit wrong, basically. It doesn't matter too much. But her hand's meant to go up on the top of the doghouse. But it doesn't matter because it's a it's a um, recreation of the picture. It's not an exact an exact picture. So it doesn't matter too much. It's <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's just a recreation. And uh we're gonna get we're gonna get Freddy Krueger's head on this now. So yeah, let's have a look. Try. But I don't really know what color his fedora is. Is it brown or is it green or is it what? I never quite know. I'm gonna do it in a very basic brown color. But I know it's not this brown, it's kind of a bit lighter and a bit greeny, muddy coloured. So let's, oh, let's try anyway. It's not even a fedora, is it really? I'm pretty sure it was called a fedora in the movies. This looks more like it. Cowboy hat or something, doesn't it? Not really too sure. Ah. Ah. I'm Freddy. I'm here to get you. Oh, I'm on my phone. Who's, who's messaging me now? Hey. Yeah, I'm not used to the delays in chats. It's kind of got a delay on it because it's um, it makes it, it makes the quality a bit better, I think. And that's what was annoying me beforehand, like the quality of the chat. Oh yeah, he just opened up Twitter and it. Yeah, you know what? I find that quite a lot. It's a weird like um. Synchronicity thing, isn't it? You you talk about something and then all of a sudden you see it. Usually that's a, that. Usually that's a weird message, you know. Something you've got to follow. Right, we've got the hat. Oh, I'm Freddy. Where did I visit over Easter? Um, 
Hmm, what did I put on on Instagram? I don't think I really went out. I just went to, um... Oh, fuck. I went, just went to Newcastle, I think. Have a look. So the picture, um, there was a picture of Alex down by the river where um, she's having a beer under the bridge. That was, um, if you know, um, if you go down on G Gateshead Quayside near where the Baltic is, there's a new um, like container village place opened up, and it's got this bar in it which has got like a million different beers you can order and then it's got a bit at the back where it's like um I did like an Instagram story of it where it's like uh it's almost like um a food market but you you've got to go to like a stall and buy tokens and then you can buy the food with the tokens which is a bit weird and the food is all lush and the beer is all lush and that's where that was taken and then uh where else did we go Oh, we went to um, the Crown in Catton for a beer and some food yesterday or the day before. Can't remember when. Yesterday, I think. No, day before. Fuck hell. And then um, we went to Hexham for an ice cream and just a wander around. I got myself some some books, some Franz Kafka books, and the Gulag. Archipelago by Alexander Solchinayev. I'm not sure how to say his name. So yeah, that's my that's all the places I visited. Hope that was a nice story. Hope you like that tale. So let's try and get some colors. On this outfit. Oh, oh, oh. Paint underneath still a bit wet, so it's coming through a bit lighter than I want. But whatever, we'll let that slide for now. Freddy vs. Jason was amazing, yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing more um, versus movies. I mean, not um, you know, Alien versus Predator. Now that was a complete disappointment, to be honest. They really fucked that up. I mean, that was a perfect opportunity to make something amazing, and they just buggered it up. I Made mean, such a bad movie. You rented it on VHS. I don't even remember where I saw it. I think it was like, it must have been at uni or something. When did it come out? I'm trying to think when it came out, whether I saw it like... At the time or, or what? No idea, to be honest. Mm -mm -mm. I'm glad you announced you've been globetrotting of recent. You've been in Clifton Country Park. Where's that? I don't know if that's one I've been to much. Clifton Country Park. It rings a bell, but... Hmm. I don't know. I thought I was fairly well acquainted with the uh, 
the weird parks and areas around uh, around where you lived. But maybe not. Probably have. I probably just can't remember the name of it. But. God. Up a, I'm trying to mix up the right green for his, his jumper, but to be honest, I don't know if I will be able to. It's kind of a brownie green colour. I, I never knew when I was first watched the movies. Maybe it's because I, when I first seen it, it was in like a you know, on a VHS tape. You don't get to see all the colours and things. But I didn't even know he had a red and green top on. I thought it was like Dennis the Menace colours, like black and white, black and red stripes. I never knew there was a green in there until years later. Why was they in part four? Which one's that? Tell you what I like, which one I like is the one where he goes to space. It's like a futuristic one and they've they've got Jason's body on ice and it's like Yeah, that's a good one. Jason X, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I love that. You know the bit where they've got like a a recreation of the uh, the camp, and he's like, he's got he's got people in a sleeping bag, and he's just like smacking, swinging the sleeping bag against the tree and just kill him. It's funny as fuck. Yeah, which one's number four? What's the one where he keeps like possessing people? He like his body, he goes into other people's bodies. I remember that one? I remember quite enjoying that one, but I can't remember which one it was. I don't, I don't know if I've seen like I don't think I've seen all the um the Friday the thirteenth movies, to be honest with you. I've seen I I've got all the um Nightmare on Elm Streets. I've got them all on uh, on a DVD box set. I do like them, but I'm not sure about the Friday the 13th. I don't know if I've actually watched them all. No, what was the one where he gets the hockey mask? Hmm. He doesn't get the hockey mask till number four. Is that right? I didn't know that. No, I'm, you know, I must not have seen the movies. Like, I think Friday, uh, Friday the Thirteenth is probably the the set of like classic horror slasher films that have probably passed me by the most. I've not seen it. Not seen it so much. Here we go. Is this looking like Freddy yet? <laughs> Jason goes to hell or Jason takes Manhattan. Yeah, I don't think I've seen those ones. Well, no, which is the... Mm, there was, there was one where it's... Maybe it's Jason takes Manhattan. There's one where Jason's dead, but his spirit keeps, like, possessing people. Yeah, so he keeps jumping from one body to another. They kill him, but then he, like, jumps into another body. I don't know. Seen that one. Oh, 
I seen that one, baby. I like the Leprechaun cool movies as well. They're, they're a good series of movies that get more and more silly as they go on. Don't know if you've seen them. I recommend them if you haven't. You end up yeah, that and that's one of the series that ends up going to space. Like Leprechaun three or four, he ends up in space, and then after that, it's like back on Earth, but it's like in the ghetto. Leprechaun in the Hood 2 is really good. The first one's shit. It's absolutely garbage, but the second one's actually pretty good. Uh, I don't know about any of this tape flip. A girl with telekinesis powers. You haven't seen Leprechaun? I recommend them highly. Um, what else do I really like? Critter mo Critters movies, have you seen them? They're all amazing. Critters, Leprechaun. I'll have to look through my DVD collection, find some movies that I haven't watched in ages, but I absolutely love. I've got, whole, I've got this whole horror DVD collection that I never watch anymore because I can't be bothered setting up my DVD player. So there's that. That's that story. There's that story. I don't know about this Freddy Krueger thing. Looks alright, doesn't he? Doesn't look accurate, but it looks alright. Patricia Arquette okay, in number three, Massive Baps. Number three of what? Leprechaun or Critters? I can't remember. I don't know. I don't know actors' names to be honest. Actors and actresses. But he's got some thick thighs. Yeah, he's a bit thick, isn't he? Compared to the actual model and copy enough, but that's fine. We'll let him. We'll let him have thick. Let him be thick. For the time being, I always change it at a different time. So, here's the thing now skin is all like. It's also got tights on, which I'm going to do, but I want to get the. I want to get his gnarled flesh on here, first of all. The very basics of it. Not really, not really doing any particular pattern here, I'm just sort of putting on some red bits so I can go over it again later on with some finer detail uh, beautiful beautiful freddy Krueger, isn't it what a beautiful freddy Yeah, no cool characters. Yeah. I think they try to do that 
with um Oh, what's that fucking movie called where the, the person steals your eyes? Jeepers Creepers. They tried to do that, but they did such a bad design of the monster. It was just laughable. Once you had you seen him, it was just like, uh, that's not scary at all, is it? Doesn't even need to be a monster, really. It just needs to be like a creepy guy or something, you know, just a, a decent character that you can keep bringing back in the sequels. Hmm, no heart or passion, I guess. It's just, a, it's just a trend, isn't it? The whole slasher trend's gone now. I guess they're not so interested in having the character-based horror movies. Deepest Creepers Two. I've not seen it to be honest. I thought it's, I thought <laughs> I thought the first one was so bad. I didn't watch any of the others. Honestly, I, I hated the, I hated that character, the Jeepers Creepers guy. And that's why you're wrong, tape flip. You're wrong and your opinion is bad. Change it right now. No, I'm a joke. I've never, I've never seen Jeepers Creepers 2. I wouldn't know if it was good or not. It's kind of the same era as those Final Destination movies, isn't it? I really like them. That was good. It was kind of like they almost created a monster in that, but without actually having a monster. You know what I mean? Like they created something creepy in the even though it was like this sort of force that came and got you, it wasn't really a, an actual monster. But they still managed to create something quite iconic in a way, you know? Quite like that. I quite like that whole thing in that movie, those movies. I'll have to watch Jupiter's Creepers too to see if you're right. And if you're not right, then I'll come back to you. I'll be very angry. I'll see you made me sit through Jupiter's Creepers too, even though it's not very good. What's wrong with you, Tape Flip? Are you mad? Don't you know my time on this earth is limited? You've just made me waste it watching Jupiter's Creepers too. Yeah, I liked I liked Final Destination because it got like it it sort of started to make me think of the uh, you know like the, the Nightmare on Elm Street sequels and the Friday the Thirteenth sequel. You know how they get more and more silly as time goes on. It was like that. It was like the sequels got more and more ridiculous. The deaths got more and more silly, and quite liked that. I preferred the sequels to the original, to be honest, to Final Destination. It just got really stupid. Highly amusing though. Oh yeah, it follows, and that's a good movie. And um how about I mean I don't even know if it's considered modern anymore, but that one where is it called Teeth? Where she's got teeth in a vagina that bite people's dicks off. That's a good movie. That's a good wholesome movie. It Follows is absolutely incredible. I made Alex watch that. So I was like, yeah, she doesn't really like horror films, but I was like, honestly, this one's really good. I also made her watch, um, Oh, what's that movie called? Cabin in the Woods, is it? I think it's Joss Whedon who made it. That's a really good movie. 
silly but cool. I don't know if you've seen that one. It's not creepy at all, really. It kind of gets it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm trying to think of some of modern horrors. That um that movie I was talking about before, Witch. If you haven't seen that, it, I don't know. It might be. It might still be on Netflix or something in Australia because I know they have different movies on different in different regions. But it got took off in the UK. I don't know why. But I wanted to watch that again the other day. The Witch. Got like two V's as like the W. Some reason. Um, what else did I watch? Oh, I was talking about the other week, wasn't I? They um, get out. That's a fucking ace. Although you know the director's a bit of a fucking social justice warrior, puts me off watching his other stuff. But I did like that Get Out movie. I can appreciate a movie even if I don't like the director so much. Tucker and Dale, yeah, man. Yeah. Where he keeps, like, getting into innocent situations and he makes people think... Like where he cuts into a log and there's bees start attacking him and he just ends up running out like <laughs> swinging a chainsaw around, terrifying people. Uh, that's funny as fuck, that movie. Us? I haven't seen that one. He's made a new tw Twilight movie, Twilight Zone series, hasn't he? I haven't seen that either. But I used to absolutely love the Twilight Zone. Like it used to be one of my favourites. I used to have them all. I used to have them all like recorded off the TV because like the original Twilight Zone series. I fucking loved it. I used to always show them on the Sci-Fi Channel. So it might be good. I don't know. It might be a load of shit. Might be social justice warrior crap. I'd still give it a go, just because I, I love the Twilight Zone. You know? So this is Pekingese, I think this picture originally is called the Pekingese Doghouse. But I'm going to be, I'm going to have the dog, the, the, I don't know if you can see the original pin-up image. I don't know, can you see? What's, what's the stream look like? Yeah, you can kind of see the picture I'm going off. Um, it's got a little dog at the bottom and she's holding the hammer. <clears throat> I'm gonna do the hammer is stuck in the dog's head. Make it a bit more horrific. What it used to be called the Supernatural series. I've never seen it. Is that the one with all the weird dinosaurs and shit? No. I might think that's something completely different. <clears throat> I, I do remember there used to be a series called Supernatural. And I thought it would be about ghosts and stuff. And then I watched an episode and it wasn't about anything like that. And then I didn't watch anymore. But I can't remember what it was actually about. Because I used to love... Um, 
There used to be like a TV show on on in the UK called Strange But True, and it was um, presented by Carol Vorderman. And um, I don't know if you have Carol Vorderman in other countries. Seems like a bit of a a British staple though. From back in the day, and uh, she used to present this show about like weird stuff that happened. I used to love that. And there was another one, I think it was on like the Sci-Fi Channel or something, about like ghosts and things. I think maybe it was called Sightings. So when I first saw Supernatural, I thought, oh, it's going to be like a program about something like that. And then it turned out not to be, and I was a bit disappointed. Save the image and add it on screen so we can see the clear reference. Um, okay. Hmm. The Hill House. That's something I mean, I've been meaning to watch. I think I actually tried watching it and then I ended up falling asleep and not really paying attention. There we go, look. Now you can see my image that I'm copying from. Kind of copying from. It's not, I mean, it's not exact, obviously. But you can get the idea now. You know what it is? You were saying she's got thick thighs. It doesn't actually, I'm sure the image gets squashed slightly. Maybe it's just the way I'm looking at it, but. It looks a lot more compressed on the image than it does in real life. Maybe it's just the angle. I don't know. But Oh well. Oh well. Too easy, yeah. Yep, there you go. And you know what you know what now? Then that gong music that I was using is now getting copyright claimed. It never used to. All of a sudden, I'm getting copyright claims on all my old streams. So now I'm stuck for any music to use. Everything I use gets copyright claimed. Too easy, baby. Don't be too easy. Don't be greasy. Be easy. I need this bit here to be different. I need it to be different, please. These boobs are just... I'm not very good at painting boobs, to be honest with you. I'll be perfectly honest with anyone watching. Don't expect a good pair of boobs on this painting. Never, I've never been particularly good at painting them. Go back to my, go back to this so I can see it properly. I'm looking at the image of the image. Right. 
Right. So I see what I'm trying to do here. I see what I'm attempting to do here. Not sure. Oh, how sexy! Yeah, I've been meaning to watch that Hill House program. Oh, I forgot, I got distracted. Um, I've heard there's loads of bits in the show where you can see ghosts in the background, like hidden away, and it's like a little Easter egg if you're paying attention. There's like loads of bits where you sort of you look into the shadows it's like if you i don't know actually i'll tell you what you should watch tape flip because i don't know if this will be a thing that will have got over to australia there's an old there was an old tv show called um it was just a one-off special and it was called ghost watch and uh, that was similar it's got loads of there's loads of bits where there's a ghost hidden in the background that was like the 90s that was and uh yeah if anyone hasn't watched that I, I recommend it it's a really good spooky tv show it was only a one off it was only like one episode but definitely definitely worth a watch I want to do something with the doghouse to make it look a bit more creepy. I don't know what exactly. I don't know what. Yeah, man, watch um, watch um, Ghost Watch. It's called. It's not real, but it, you know, that'd be obvious from watching it, but. It's back when the BBC used to make good stuff. I think it was BBC anyway. And I remember it because I remember going into uh, like into school the next day and like my parents wouldn't let me watch it because they don't they didn't like me watching anything like ghostly because I was like obsessed with ghosts when I was a kid and you know I would have been traumatized by it probably. They were probably right to not let me watch it, but I remember all the kids talking about it and like the the teacher having to like make this like announcement like because the kids were all terrified like, oh, oh did you watch ghost watch oh and the teacher had to like make an announcement don't worry children it wasn't real You guys have been watching my old Shredded Hand videos? Oh, cool. Well, I'm working on a new video for that channel, actually. So, finally I can break my, uh, my, um, break my silence or whatever the fuck. <laughs> so I might, um, I might actually not stream this for, like, the whole day. I might just stream for a couple of hours and then, uh, I'll probably go and work on it because I'm. I've got a video pretty much. I've got the script written for a new video, and I've got some things that I've been drawing for it. So um, I'm going to go and probably try and edit that together today. I want to break my um, block. I had a real mental block for that channel, so yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna probably go and work on that today, rather than streaming all day like I usually do. Anyway, I hope you've been enjoying them videos. Kind of funny, I suppose. Um, I'm kind of confused as to what I've done here with the... Uh... 
Not really sure how I've done this with the coils. It's but maybe try and redo this because I think I've done the shoulder a bit wrong here. I want to get I want to get it kind of right. Yeah, there's some folds here which I'll try and recreate. Great content. Yeah, I like doing that channel. I just got a real, I like just all of a sudden mental block. Just couldn't work on it anymore, and you know, I felt really like the more the less I worked on it, the more depressed I got about not working on it, and then it just became this constant source of like, like I knew I should be making some content for it, but I just couldn't, and it was just getting more like I was getting more and more like depressed thinking about it, and in the end, I just decided just to stop completely and not think about it anymore because it was like really sort of affecting my mind i don't know why it was just really not good not good for me at all so i think i'm going to start trying working on it again i've, I've had a break from it for like two years or something so i think maybe now might be time to return and see if see if anyone's still watching i don't know if they would <laughs> i'll go back to it and then to people like who i don't remember this channel at all but it's worth going back anyway start doing it for fun and it was all getting demonetized as well that was another reason it was like i was trying to think of stuff that to make that wouldn't get immediately demonetized but then that stuff wasn't stuff that i was interested in making so it was like do I work all week on a video that probably will get demonetized? Or do I just quit? I feel like I'm in a weird situation with that channel, I don't know why. How's the stream room going? Is it still going good? Oh. Okay, okay, good. So much banging going on around. I don't know if it's um, people next door or people what. I'm interested to find out, but I don't want to go airwigging at the window. Watching a blackbird as well. The birds are all out, there's a blackbird. And then there's a robin watching the blackbird, as if to say, what have you found? Oh, and then I, I, know, I don't know why I'm giving you running commentary. Did I ever get stressed out over the content? Well, like, because it was like dark stuff. No, not really. It wasn't like the content that was stressing me out. It was just that um, I got stressed out because I stopped getting ideas for it. And, uh, yeah, it was just like the, the idea of, of having this channel that I needed to make regular content for and then not being able to come up with regular ideas for it was uh, stressing me out. Blackbird doing it, it's getting weird. I think he's, eat I think he's eating a slug, but it's doing it in a really weird way. Or is it a snail? It's like ragging it around on the ground. I wish I could film it, because you'd be able to see. No, I didn't. It never got like that. Like, it was making me, like, messed up in the head or anything. But I think what it was, when I started taking antidepressants, I just lost interest in it as well. It was like... It was like all of a sudden I just not really want to, um, want to make anything anymore. It was strange. <laughs> I'm not really desensitized to it. I, I guess I just always, I've always got interest in horror stuff, and it's not like, 
Not like it was like completely dark. I don't know. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Right. <coughs> I don't think it, I don't think it was that dark that it would mess my head up completely. I want to do something with the en the entrance to the um kennel on the pinup. You can see it's they, they've done it like um you know one of those temple entrances, which is kind of cool because it's a, like a Pekingese thing. But I want to do something with it like a. Um, how about a guillotine? Yeah, how about that a guillotine? I'll look at some images of guillotines for inspiration. Yeah, but I'm got I'm going back to making some content. I've got I've got one I've got a video pretty much pretty much ready to go. It's uh it's not too dark anyway this video I'm working on. It's just a kind of interesting thing I found in a book. But I'd make a video about it. i I've not really seen anyone like talking about this particular thing. It's like this old alien sighting. So uh I'll probably do the video on that and then see how that goes and then make some more. Mm, I should probably make that darker inside, shouldn't I? Darker inside. Like the dark in your mind. It's like I guess it's like saying if you when watching them videos is it going to affect you negatively? I don't think it would. So making the videos wouldn't either. But if you've got any other ideas or things I can do for that channel, like um you know content for videos, let me know because I'm always looking for ideas. I should probably just do that on the video. I think someone said that, like do a video and then say, what do you want to see me make a video about? And take suggestions. I think I actually did that at one point. Someone said, make a video about the Grim Reaper. And then I found all these like photos of Grim Reaper sightings. And it, the video turned out pretty cool, I thought. But that would have been, that was something I'd never really considered before someone told me to. Horror movie reviewers. Yeah, I did start. I started doing them, but they weren't so popular. That's the only problem. Cover art, banner, logo, etc. You reckon? Well, if you think so, I don't know whether uh, if you can think of something good. 
It's gotta be. It's gotta be terrifying now. Can't look cool. It's gotta look spooky. Unless you can get cool and spooky at the same time. Okay, there we go, look. It's no it's no longer a Japanese temple or whatever the hell it was. A Chinese temple or something, it's a Can you hear that rustling around in the background? Coming from next door. But there's no one living there anymore. What's going on? Is it? Is there? Oh, yeah. Dibbit box. Well, I don't want you to work on something um, tape flip in case I don't like it, you know. What if you spend ages working on some stuff and then I'm like, oh, I don't like that. Sorry. <laughs> You've wasted your time, you know. I don't, I don't want that to happen. So maybe, maybe I should just do it myself. I think the rebrand's a good idea though. I think I did something briefly about the Dybbuk box or whatever the hell you call it. I did a review of, um, oh, I did a, I did a video about um, modern horror movies that have got supposed curses around them and one of the movies was involving this Dybbuk box thing. And apparently that's why the movie was cursed, I think. Can't really remember exactly. Jewish magic in it. Jew magic. Oh no, oh god, is that um, Ouija board? I'm, I'm trying to think of something to do for um, like a live stream on that channel as well. The only thing, right? I reckon Tape Flip might know this because he's into his music and stuff and his sound editing and things. How can I make it so I can slightly lower the to pitch of my voice on a live stream? Like, what can I do to do that? I, I did search on, on how to do it, but I couldn't ever work it out, so. Maybe tape flip or no. I've got to somehow, I wanted to do live streams, but basically what I wanted to do was a video every week where I look at like weird news stories and things and talk about them. But I wanted to do it on that channel as a live stream and uh, I just couldn't work out how to do it. Maybe I'll just come clean and say, look, I've been pitching down my voice this whole time just because I thought it sounded spooky and now I've and now I want to not because I want to do live streams and it would sound weird please accept my voice as it is I don't know. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, yeah, it definitely looks it definitely looks different on the camera. I don't know if it I don't know if it just squashes the picture slightly or 
or I'm just not getting the. I don't know. It, it, even now, I'm holding it up at the right angle to the picture. It looks kind of squashed. I don't really know how compared to when I'm where I'm looking at it with my own eyes. It doesn't. It looks it looks like more sensible. I was actually thinking of doing something like a logo, you know, um, that hand that I did with the eyeball, something like that. Like maybe doing like a little animation with a, you know, like a fake eye on my hand and going like, whoop, doing like a, oh, the hand, there's my hand, you know, I don't know, something like that. And that hand with an eyeball on it would look, be a cool image. I could do it like on a green screen and then I could like edit it in. I don't know. Okay, so then now I'm going to put a bit of light green in, I think. We've got that sap green. Let's try this straight on. I don't know if it will look good. The original is very bright where I've done a very dark image. Yeah, like real time. Uh, like I, I had, a, I, I, I briefly looked for something, but I couldn't ever find anything. So I don't really know what I could do. I might have to just, just do it in my normal voice. You know, I don't know why I was so bothered about doing like a pitch down thing. It was just, it was a silly idea when I first started doing like my voice on that channel, and it, it ended up sticking because then people started watching. I'm like, oh god. I'm stick with, stuck with this silly voice, so I don't know what to do. What am I going to do? It's very dark today, like even outside it's like the other day it was beautiful sunshine. It's just very dull. Uh, I have done, I've done quite a muted colour palette on this but <clears throat> it looks even darker in on the stream than in real life I think. It's a, Sun so low. I didn't really complain because usually about now I'm like, oh, oh, why is it so sunny? I can't see anything. I can't see the canvas. A bit better, a bit better.
I suppose. I suppose that's a bit better. Yeah, I've got no idea how I would uh, do such a thing on a stream. I, I remember looking it up, but I don't even know what to even Google. There must be a way though, surely. Even if I just put my voice into some other thing and then just have the, like have the, have OBS playing the sound of whatever is coming through the laptop or something like that, you know. I'll have to have a look. Mm. Okay, so. Is it looking sufficiently Freddy Krueger-ish? But we're getting there, the skin is looking a bit peely and stuff, and uh, once we get the face in and all that, and the little details nicely on the skin, I think it'll start to look okay. Not perfect yet, but I think we can see where it's going. That's the most important thing, isn't it? Do, 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 do. Okay, good. So I'm gonna get some little shadowy pieces. There's, a, there's like a shadow behind the house here on the grass. It's covered by a dog, but I don't know how much the dog's gonna be in the picture because it's gonna be a bit. Too much black in there. Black and gold, black and gold. Okay, that's sort of, yeah, it's starting to come together, this painting. Getting some software right now. Well, I hope so. You better be doing my bedding right now, tape clip. I demand you do things for me. Not really. Um... But yeah, if you could find, if you could figure something out, because I have tried, I'm not just being lazy and going like, oh, just Google that for me, tape flip. I've tried in the past, I've looked for some software and I could never find anything that would actually work. And it really did me head in. And I think I just don't really know what to Google. I don't, I didn't really know what to look for, you know what I mean? Or maybe I just didn't know how to set it up with the uh, with obs i don't know i remember i remember thinking about it and not being able to actually find anything that i wanted Do 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 Have a look at me. Oh, 
Got a nice shadow on there. It's very dark. There's a shadow there. I think that needs even to be darker than that. In fact, the roof of this is very uneven. It's been here. Try and recreate that look there. Get some more of that brown. Brown town, do 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 do. Brown town. Brown town, brown town. Hmm, well, I don't know what I'm doing here. This is supposed to be the... The boards of wood, which are uneven on the roof there. It's starting to come together. Starting to get an, an idea that the roof here is... Something 3D, at least. I hope.
All right, this kind of thing is, yeah, it's all right, isn't it? It's coming together. All right in the doorway there. The artist has done. Maybe a bit darker now, slightly. There, perfection, absolute perfection, absolutely flawless. I need to go and plant my Hawaiian baby woodrow seeds as well. I will go and have a look at them actually. I think the um, Wine Wavy Woodrow seed water has gone brown. Let's have a look at them. Yes. That's my Hawaiian Baby Woodrow seed. So the water's gone all brown. I bet if I drank that water now, I'd be tripping balls all day. But anyway, they look like they've absorbed a lot of water, so I'm going to probably plant these later on. Oh, I missed that message from Tape Flip. What does it say? Had to open stream on iPad because computer restarted. Because you're installing these programs to test. Ah, oh, bloody hell, you're going to a lot of effort for me there, Tape Flip. It's no, uh, no, it's fine. I just, I just asked in case you knew of something, really. I feel bad when I say these things and then people go to like efforts for me because well, I, don't, I don't know if I deserve that really. People going to lengths for me to help me out. Downtown. Anyway, let's get some more. Wait on here. Do 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 I think I'm creating a nice little horror themed uh, kennel here. I think we need a bit darker colour on the front of this though, definitely.
don't know how we've done it, but it's kind of created like a almost like a green bit in the shadows. I don't, I don't really understand that. Let's try. Almost like there's a green thing here. Green shadow. Hmm. Damn it, no. The other way. There we go. Kind of created a shadow there. Hey, hey, hey. A few light bits because it's not all not all dark there. It's starting to come together now, I think. A little bit. Some of these some of these colours are looking quite nice. Looking at my image compared to the actual picture itself, and I'll see where I need to make changes. in there I can yet it's a bit too the paint isn't quite dry enough the guillotine doghouse it's a strange concept Freddy Krueger's own invention I suppose Right, I think I might um, go now and do some other things. I think I've got a nice start on this uh, this painting. But um, I mean, the kennel looks okay. I don't know about I don't know about um, Freddy. <laughs> he's looking a bit. He's looking a bit sort of. Uh, I don't know what. He's looking like a burn victim. That's for sure. So I guess that's. Uh, why has Freddy got chicken pox? It's just it's just the first layer of him. He's got kind of. Uh, I guess it's just like. In the background, and then when I when I put the little details of his, uh, you know, his skin over the top, it'll start to look good. But I need something underneath to look like his weird melted skin. So that's why he looks like he's got chicken pox at the moment. Find a good program voice mod. Voice mod does ray. Voice mod. Let's have a look then. Freddy Crouchfield Jacobs disease, the final shake. Man, I'd watch that movie to be honest. That would be good if such a thing existed. You can disable it so you don't hear it, but OBS input would. 
Well, I'll have to try that out. Um, let's have a look. Is it free? I hope it is. Voice mod. Voice mod. A real time voice changer and modulator. Free. But it says, um, converting your voice into robot, female, or girl. It doesn't say anything about just pitching down your uh, pitching down your your voice slightly. Hi, Steve Punk. How's it going? Like, what I want to do is pitch it by a certain amount, which is I think it's like by two octaves or something like that. I think that's what I used to do on my old videos. Specifically pitched down by octaves and then uh, and then do that. I don't know if that's possible. It looks like from looking at the picture of it, it looks like something where you can just put the uh, you know put a, a random effect on your voice and then it'll uh, be able to hear it. I should be more specific, really. I don't want to just have like a lower voice. I want to want to have it specifically, like pitch it down by by like a couple of octaves, if that's the right word. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? I wonder if I can get the camera looking a bit more like high up at the picture because it's I don't know to me to me it looks fine but then when I look at the picture it looks all kind of compressed so maybe like that would be better I don't know that's it now well I'll download and have a go on it I'm going to actually go off now anyway because uh, I've got some other videos to work on and uh I can't be doing this all day, to be honest. I've got to do something. You know, got to work on some other things, so. I'll, I'll have a go on that voice mod. I'll download it and have a little test myself in the meantime. But um, yeah, I've got some like voice stuff to record anyway, so I'm going to go and do that now. And maybe have some lunch and. Uh, yeah, that'll be it. So if you've just tuned in, I apologize. But um Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just knock it on the head for now. Maybe come back later if I've still got time. Depends how long it takes me to finish this video off that I'm working on. Anyway, alright. Cheers everyone. Um let me Where the fuck is, how do I stop this? Oh yeah, just stop there, stop streaming. All right, cheers everyone. Catch